In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install WordPress. This is the most secure way of doing it. I'm going to show you where to go to get your WordPress files. I'm going to show you how to uh, use our bridge, our FTP bridge to get that online. And then I'm going to show you how to use that database that we set up uh, to get that working with our installation of WordPress. Now, this is the most secure way of installing WordPress. So I just wanted to make sure that I put this in the video course. That way you know exactly what to do uh, in order to install WordPress and have it as secure as possible. So let me head over to my browser and I'm inside my cPanel here. And for now, I just need to head over to wordpress.org. That's wordpress.org, okay? And once you get to WordPress.org, this is where you're going to need to download WordPress. Now you can see the version that is currently the latest version is 4.2.2. So I'm going to hit this button here. I'm going to save that file. And now I have WordPress completely downloaded. And what I'm going to do is just open up this zip file and I'm going to get this downloaded version of WordPress. Let's go ahead and put this right here on my desktop. It's going to take a little bit to get all the files out of out of this zip form. Uh, I'm going to head over to my web developer tools. I am going to log in to my FTP program. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is get all of the WordPress files that are currently getting pulled out of this folder here. I'm going to grab all of those files and include them and put them right here on my main public HTML path. Okay, this is the main URL of WordPress. So what I'm going to need to do is just go over to my desktop in just a second. So we'll get that going. Let me pause the video because I still have some files that are getting uh, pulled out of this zip file. All right, all the WordPress files have now downloaded to my desktop here. And what I've done on my FTP program is I've opened up the folder. You can see the desktop and I have a WordPress folder open. All I'm gonna do is just highlight all of my files here, hit this green arrow, and all of the files are gonna start getting to be, they're all going to be uploaded right to my server. So you can see this. The FTP is my bridge. It's pulling all the files over here to my server side. And in just a minute, I'll be able to go to online marketing tutorial videos, and I should be able to have the steps for installation of WordPress. So again, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video while my FTP software puts everything over to my server side. So all the files have been uploaded and they're all here on my server side. So I can go over to my URL now and I can refresh the page. And now I go through the admin steps. Okay, so let me go ahead and move this over a little bit. Now the admin steps are very simple. You just need to have the appropriate information that we had already done in a previous video. So let me go ahead and hit continue. These are the items that you're going to need. Your database name, which we already created. Our data, database username, we did. Our database password, which we have. And our database host, which is just our server, right? So if you want to run more than one WordPress in a single database, um, then you'd go ahead and use something like this. I never do that. So let's hit the let, let's go button. Now our database name, this is the information that I kept earlier. We'll go ahead and use this information here. So we have our database name. I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. We're going to go ahead and put our database user in. Okay, our username, our password. Database host, we're just going to keep localhost. 
and our database prefix, we can leave it as WP. You can change this if you'd like uh, for security reasons. I'm just going to go ahead and leave it as WP, but you can change this and um, you can you can have it what whichever you like. Okay, so let me hit submit. I'm going to hit run the install. Now there's a few more things that I'm going to need to add here. That is the site title. So online marketing tutorial videos. Oops. Ah. All right. Uh, our username. That's the information that we're going to use inside of WordPress. So again, I'm going back to my little handy notepad and I'm going to put uh, WordPress um, user details. So I'll go ahead and put a username in here. So for this, I'll put uh, WP admin. And then for password, go ahead and put a password in there. Our email, I'm going to put support at online marketing tutorial videos. And the allow search engines to index the site, I'm going to leave checked and I'm going to hit install WordPress. Just like that, WordPress has been installed. They even put sorry to disappoint because they're saying like, you know, did you think there was going to be more steps to this? And there isn't. There really isn't. So let's go ahead to the login. Let's put in our, our username and we'll put in our password. We'll click the remember me. We'll log in and that's it. I'm now inside of my brand new secure WordPress site and you can see here this is the URL online marketing tutorial videos and this is the default theme that WordPress gives us alright but just like that that is the most secure way to install WordPress on your website okay on your URL or your domain so now I have a working website ready to start being edited and changed to my liking and everything that goes with building an online business. I've done that really simple, really easy, right? So this is just a quick video. The longest part of this whole process, guys, is uploading your files or downloading WordPress and uploading them to your server. That's gonna be the longest part. Everything else, as long as you follow along in this course so far, you should be up and running with a WordPress website ready to go. All right, thanks for watching this video. We'll see you in the next one.